Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show how we can license backoff controller using TwinCat 3 software. The core of this licensing process may just take one minute. However, for the new starter, that would be the first time for you to operate this whole process. So using this video, I would like to show the whole process. So that will easier for you to operate this licensing procedure. So after we create the project, and uh, after we program something in the PLC, motion, safety, or some communication modules or program, once you go to the license, double click the license, and you will find in this list, it will pop up the license in this project you need. For example, in this project, I only build up the standard PLC program. So in this project, it will pop up TC1200, this license. Currently, I'm using 7-12 license here. So once you type in this number, here will pop up 7-12 license. That allows you to pre-program while you are waiting for the license procedure and waiting for the controller. And once you get the license and get the controller, and you can license this controller. Once you purchase the license, you will get the license ID via the email. The license ID will have a eight digit number. For example, we can type in here. In the email, it only shows a license ID. There's no customer ID. Actually, when you type in the license ID and the customer ID here, they are the same. Like this, you type in the same number here. Before you are going to license the controller, make sure you are connecting that uh, controller. For example, currently, I'm not connecting the controller. That's because here, I'm selecting the local now. So make sure you are connecting, choose the target system, connecting that controller at first. That controller can be in a configuration mode or in the running mode. Uh, that will be a problem. That's because uh, once you're connecting that controller, the system ID is showing here in this line. That system ID represents the actual object you are connecting. Before you are going to license the controller, make sure you are connecting that controller. And this system ID represents the actual controller. And uh, once you type in the number, you can click this uh, general file. If you didn't uh, type in the number, uh, once you hit this uh, general file, it will pop up back of license ID must not be empty or license TAN must be set. The license ID come from your order and come from that email. You type in the number here. Hit this uh, general file. Once you hit this general file, the system will general one TCLRQ. That is a request a file. So your license ID and the customer ID will be a part of this file name. And make sure that name is a TCL request RQ file. The software will ask you to send the license request to back off. Then you need to send this request file to an email address from back off. You can go to this website. So from the Google, you can search backoff information system licensing process and search this uh, backoff information system. Then you will find this process. So this process actually is very clear. Firstly, you need to purchase a TwinKite license. And then from the TwinKite software, you will have a system ID here. And then from the email you ordered, Backoff will send you one order number. This order number is just a license ID here. And after this, you will hit this a general file to general one request file. This we just did. You will send to backoff server. And this backoff email address that is this tc license at backoff.com. And once you send this a email, uh, the backoff licensing server will immediately reply our email. Basically, that waiting time just a couple seconds within one minute. So backoff will reply our email. In that email, there will be attached file. That attached file, that is a license response file, is showing here. And once you get this response file, then 
you hit this uh, license response file. And that response file will be a TCLRS response file. The file we send, that is a TCLRQ file. This is a RS file. Keep in mind this. And once you hit this file, hit this uh, open, and that moment, this file will be loaded and um, verified in the TwinCast 3 software. And once you got the licensing successfully, so this area, the current status will show the valid. And keep in mind, make sure the request file and the response file, you better back up these two files in your server or somewhere. I will show a brief video to show this whole process. So currently, I'm connecting one controller. So I have a system ID here, and I type in the license ID already. Currently, in this system, it's using TC1200 and TF1800. So the current status is showing the missing because I'm not using the trial license for this uh, controller because I already ordered the license. So I'm going to license this controller. Now I'm connecting this controller. Here I hit this uh, generate file. And then I will send an email with that file attached to this uh, address. That is a tc license at backoff.com. So I get this a response file and that RS, that is a response file. Currently, I'm still connecting this controller. Here is a license response file. Load that file I received. Open. So it will pop a license response file, registered, restart the TwinKit to active license. So at this moment, we can shift to the controller to config mode and start it again. It will update to valid status. So that means those file is licensed correctly. So that is uh, the whole licensing process. In this uh, online license area, it will show all the license in online status. All right, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.